I just see how much I can get for it. It's Mino, look. Yeah. So a few months ago, I planned on doing a video buying a bunch of very cheap symbols from Wish. And as you all know, nothing ever good happens when you order from Wish. I mean, trust me, uh, the, uh, a few months ago, I tried to order this mint's Actually, never mind. I'm not gonna. Here's the situation we're in right now. I bought and paid for and even used my debit card for a hi hat, a ride symbol, a crash symbol, and even a splash symbol. And all I got back was this ride symbol. It's been eight months since I placed the order. Eight. And all I got back was this ride symbol. I mean, to be fair, I'm just kidding. There's nothing to be fair about. Yo! So for this video, we're gonna be messing around with this $30 ride symbol. We're gonna go ahead and unpack it. Un, un, unbox it. Unbag it. First of all, this packaging looks, looks like, it, it looks pretty bad. All right, let's just be real here. You might as well have just gone to Walmart and just double bag this hoe. I mean, I know it was $30, but you could at least try. It feels like a China symbol. Like, it doesn't even feel like a, like, look, this is, this is supposed to be a ride symbol. All right, let's open her up. Uh, I'm trying to make this look aesthetic for you guys, okay? What the f- Yeah! Oh, all right. Now it's a ride symbol. Look at that. Yeah. You know what? If this video gets 10,000 likes, I'm gonna take this to a jazz gig. I got a, I got a few this month. And during the first set, in the middle of the first set, I will I will switch out this beautiful jazz monophonic 22 inch by Minor Symbols. Oh. And I will switch it out for this guy and see you know see if the bandmates see if they notice. And I will get their reaction. I'll like vlog it, you know, YouTuber. 10,000 likes, and we will do that. I think what I'll do first is I will blindfold my mother because she doesn't play drums. She she doesn't understand anything about symbols, I assume. I'm gonna set out two expensive ride symbols and I'll set out this one and um and I'll, I'll try to make her guess which one is the cheapest one, right? Or which one is the, the one with not the best quality. Look, I, I'm, I'm looking at this thing and I, I can already tell it's not gonna be the best. But hey, just like what I learned in my, in my college years, $30 is $30. Mother! Yeah. How are you blindfolded? I'll, I will guide you because this room is very cramped. Before we get started, I just have to... Ah! <laughs> I have three symbols laid out for you, okay? okay? One is around $600, mm -hmm. one is around $500, okay. and the other is around $30. I got it from Wish. Oh, cool. And you know how Wish is, you know what I'm saying? It took six months to get here? Eight months. Okay, good. Okay, in front of you are all three of those symbols. So okay. we'll start... We'll start over here. So just play it, mess around, and I want you to guess, I want you to tell me which one you think is the... Is the cheap one. Now, symbol number two okay. is right here. Okay. Right? So crash it, write it however you want. Okay. Alright. Okay. So which one of these do you think is the wish symbol? This one. Ah! Well I spent five hundred dollars on nothing. <laughs> Well guys, that didn't go how I expected it to go, but it's okay. Now, we're gonna do like a little comparison thing. So last week, I think it was last week, I did a little video recording on this guy right here. This is my most favorite symbol in the entire world. This is the 22 inch monophonic ride symbol by Minel Symbols, oh my <sighs> Seriously, I've been using this symbol way before I ever came in contact with the guys at Minel, which I'm very excited about, by the way. Full video on that very soon. I'm pretty sure I bought it the day it dropped. So I'm gonna show you what this symbol sounds like first in a musical context. Now I'm gonna play that same exact track on this ride cymbal so you can hear what it sounds like in the same similar musical context. <laughs> The 
symbol is way too washy. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is actually a crash symbol they sent me. But on the email it said, your ride symbol has been delivered. Something that I do to symbols that I find to be a bit too washy is I just put like a piece of tape under it. So I think that's what we're gonna try now and maybe it'll sound a bit better. I don't know, what do you guys think? Does it sound bad? Does it even matter? Like, I'm, I'm curious. Let me know in the comments. I will be right back with that tape. Bam, we got the gaff tape. Oh. <laughs> So the symbol is still lacking character, and what adds character to a symbol? A hammer! You see how this symbol has all these little bumps in it? Those are hammered. This is basically the same thing. Alright guys, so I did not hate that at all actually. It kind of sounded like a mini gong. But I still think it could be a bit more warm. And I read online that if you bury a symbol underground, it will come out with a warmer tone. And although that may not be true, we're gonna do it anyways because I have nothing else to do with this symbol, all right? I expected like a whole symbol set was gonna do a comparison. So we're gonna go try that now. And if that doesn't work, then I don't know, man. I think I might have to try to trade it in. All right, I know I shouldn't have to say this because y'all are my boys and you're way smarter than me, but don't try this at home and do this to your symbols. Just don't. All right, let's bury this symbol and see if the myths are true. Ah, ah. Me and my little brother Nathan used to dig holes in our backyard because we were very weird children, but now we're big children. All right, and now we wait. So stupid. Yeah, Mingus, dig me that hole. There we go. Let's see how it sounds. Hopefully it gives us some more earthy tone. That did absolutely nothing. But oh, at this point, I had no idea what I was gonna do with this symbol. So I decided to take it to the one place I knew where I could sell it. At least for a couple of dollars, man. They be tripping sometimes. All right, so I got the super rare symbol. I was thinking, give it away. Not give it away, but I see how much I can get for it. I mean, if you want to give it away, that's cool too, you know? Nah, it was passed down from me from my great grandfather, Oliver Yachin. Oh. Yeah, and I'm just seeing how much I can get for it. Uh, apparently, it was played by Charlie Parker. It's Mino, look. Boy, if you don't get. What you think? Honestly. Honestly. 
demo, but honestly, I don't know how you play it. So no? <laughs> Sweet white is better. Oh, you want to see it? Yeah. Would you buy it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, man. Alright, bro.